I will always be thankful for AUA. It was the first school that gave me an opportunity to practice medicine. When I went to Antigua, everything was very comfortable, both the lifestyle and the level of education was extremely high. I love going here. I love my classmates. I love the staff. And the culture that you experience here is just amazing. Your housing has been organized for you. You know, my apartment in Antigua was bigger than my apartment in New York. Being in AUA housing, you literally are surrounded by AUA students. I really enjoy being a part of the AUA family that we've developed here and getting to know everyone. Antigua has been a wonderful place to study. On top of the obvious gorgeous weather and surroundings, the people have been incredibly friendly and kind. And to have the state-of-the-art facilities on campus, I couldn't have asked for a better medical education abroad. The teachers are there for you. They're there because they want you to do great on the boards. They don't want you to be mediocre. The teachers are so down to earth and they, they walk around. I think it's an amazing way to teach because you get to interact more with the students, you're more personable, they can approach you easily. Teachers expect a lot from you and I liked that because it made you want to be better, it made you want to get the honors in the class, it made you want to get the 230 or above on step. Our groups are small so we get to work very closely with the instructors here and sometimes we have a lot of peer-to-peer -peer interactions. My classroom lectures is really linked towards what I learn in the lab. We have the Harvey and the Simman, which are basically simulated patients. You can listen for different heart murmurs. You can actually feel the pulse. He'll talk to you, his eyes will open and close, he can become unresponsive, and gets to be pretty realistic at times, for sure. When you start out, you have class for four hours a day. All the classes are actually recorded. So you can rewatch them, rewind them, slow them down, speed them up, whatever you need to do to make sure you get all the information that was taught in class. When you get to your third and fourth year for your clinical rotations, they give you the opportunity to come back to the U.S. and rotate through some of the top institutions and the hospitals in the country. AUA prepared me very well for rotations because we take foundations to clinical medicine and introduction to clinical medicine while in basic sciences. You study um, how to properly do a physical exam and how to properly approach patients. So every day I apply those techniques while in rotations. You know, one thing in, in medicine that I've noticed is it's, it's always a team-based approach. And AUA prepares you well for that. You know, through our rotations you work with all different kinds of people, different cities. We picked Global MD because we not only do we get to come to the island two weeks early, but also because we get to learn about healthcare in a global aspect. There are different types of healthcare systems, different types of health challenges throughout the world, and as physicians, it's critical for them to understand these systems and what impacts health in different countries. Any physician in training um, should actually get exposed to it. Part of the training happens on the FIU campus in Florida. So once you can achieve reaching that far, you get to learn how so much more about research, doing the FIU program there. This program is a FIU clinical clerkship program. We are evaluated by FIU faculty. We are going to receive our transcripts from FIU. Because of that, it looks better on our resumes.